Hi everyone, my name is MD Arik Rahman and uh, I'm going to start a series of tutorials on HEC SMS model which is known as hydrologic model or hydrological model. So in this series of modeling software or the tutorial you'll be able to understand how to install this software and how to use this software. So you'll also be able to develop a KSMS model from scratch and in this series of tutorials I will also show how to prepare the input data and input parameters and also I'll show how to download different types of precipitation data or temperature basically the meteorological data from websites uh, and I'll show how to process these data by using different types of programming languages and scripts that I already developed and I'll share with you guys this script so that you can easily use those scripts and you can modify your scripts as per your requirement and your research area and field okay before starting we have to search for a KSMS in the Google search bar, here you can type heck SMS download. So it will show this heck SMS downloads website. So this hydrologic engineering center of US Army Corps of Engineers. If you click on this, it will bring you to the main download page. Here you can see a list of softwares are showing here basically it is the same software but different versions so at the beginning see primary download site here you can download this heck sms 4.3 version if you are windows user or if you are a linux user you can download this software from here right so I'm a pretty big fan of this version 4.2.1 because I have started learning this software when it was 4.2 and now it has 4.3 version. So okay just click on this download button so it will start downloading here see so it is just 182 megabyte file size it is downloading so internet speed is pretty fast that's why it is only taking 10 to 15 seconds for me but it may take several minutes for you depending on the speed of the internet that you have but it is not a big deal after downloading this software will install it and the installation will not take a longer time so let's see the download so here is my download here so if I double click on this it will start installing my computer has 16 of RAM however sometimes it takes time yeah it is preparing the installation so most of the cases you know we have to just click on next next and next and we have to accept the license agreement because it is a free software so I'm clicking next so then it is showing the default directory where it is going to be installed but you can change the directory as per your requirement where your space are available so I'm just installing in my C drive so if you wanna create a shortcut button on the desktop you can check this button here so I'm just clicking next and now it is installing and it will take several minutes so it depends on the computer processors and your RAM size and the speed of the computer so I will suggest do that while installing your computer if you if you install this software on your laptop you should use your power cord at the same time so that the computer can speed up while installing so it is finished so let's see 
what happens. So it is here, it has created a short curve, XMS 4.3. If I just double click on this, it will open. So after installing, you have a little bit, may have confused what to do. There is nothing you can see here because it is an empty page and uh, there is nothing to show because it is just opened and all the buttons and all the options are now disabled, right? So at first what do you have to know because there is no models there. So here we have file, we have edit window, we have view, I'll show everything in the letter tutorials. So this is not a big deal. So at first after installing the software you have to click on the help menu. You will see quick start guide and the user manual, technical reference manual, application guide and install sample projects. So if you want to install some sample project to see how to open any installed projects and if you want to develop your own model by using this tutorial, you have to install this because they have written this tutorial based on this sample projects. So I'm trying to install my sample projects and it is showing where to install. So by default it will show the, the humans. Since I have uh, enough space there, I'm going to install this in my document directory. So I'm selecting and the installation has been completed. See if I click on this button, open a project button, see it will show a list of projects that you already have installed because I have already worked on this. So it is showing this list of projects but I'm going to open my research work here you can see opening any projects right yeah here is the list of the modules that is included in the model so if I click on the basin model it will expand and if I click on this it will show my model boundary for my research area so the area of this model is more than 11,500 square kilometer. It is pretty big area. So here is the Bay of Matagorda and from this Bay of Matagorda the flow is connected to the Gulf of Mexico. So we have a lot of components of this model. It is pretty complex model and then you may have your MET model for running this HEC SMS model, you need basin model, you need MET model or the meteorological model, which include all the meteorological information like precipitation, solar radiation, short wave radiation, long wave radiation, C, and then you need the evapotranspiration module and uh, snow melt information and etc. And for running this model, you need your control specification and in, in the control specification you have to specify your starting date and time and your ending date of date and the time and at the same time you have to specify your simulation interval. For my case I ran this model from 2003 to 2015 not 2015 from 2017 for 15 years period and my time interval is 30 minutes and for running this model it takes more than half an hour. This is not a big deal. But this is how we can install this HEC SMS model and we can open any previously developed model in HEC SMS. So this is for today. I'll also show you in the next video how to develop any model in HEC SMS from the scratch because in this model you will never understand how I have developed this model.
but when I will start developing any model from scratch, there is nothing, and I'll develop this model from nothing to this stage. You need a lot of information, a lot of calculation. That means the pre-processes are also important for developing any model. That is the most laborious and most tedious task that I have ever done in my life. So, okay, it is not a big problem. I will make it easy for you. Right? So, this is the end of my first tutorial. Thanks for watching.